Hi there, this video is going to show you some of the basic functions of your new loom. There's a couple of um, new terms that you might not uh, be familiar with that I'm going to introduce you to so you can start to make your project quickly and have a beautiful end craft project when you're done. So this is your comb and this allows you as you start to work through your project to push your yarn up and so it, you want it to be nice and tight and you want to fix every single row as you go along so it stays nice. You keep pushing it up towards the top of your work. The other tool that you have in your kit is called a shuttle and this wraps your yarn that you're working yarn around so you can just push it in and out of your loom as you work. The other really neat uh, feature of this particular kit is that it has a heddle. It's a really simple tool and what it is, I'll show you from this angle. You can see that as I work through, I just have to turn it a quarter turn and it pushes up the, yar the yarns that the uh, shuttle needs to work through in order to create your woven material. So let me finish this row here and I'll show you. Push from one side. So you just work right to left and then left to right. I'm going to pull that yarn through. I'm going to take my comb and push it up, make that nice and neat. And then I'm going to just gently turn the heddle back and it's going to pick up the every other yarn and what that does is it makes it a little bit easier for me to take that shuttle that, that with the working yarn and work it through the next row. So when I start the next row, you can see my working yarn is underneath this white thread here. You're going to want to turn it so that the, the yarn, the next yarn gets pushed up. So you can see here, it's easy and I'll show you from the side here. I want my working yarn to now go over this end yarn and work through all the rest of the yarns. So let me turn it on the side so you can see. I'm kind of feeding it through. And you're still working it a little bit up and down through, but just working close to the heddle makes it a lot easier for you to feed the shuttle through a little bit quicker and with less mistakes. And from there, once I know that I'm set and I see that I have every other uh, thread working this way in the right direction, then I pull it through like that. And then that's a row. And now I just take that comb again and I push it up. And now I'm ready to turn my work again. So I know that I want to go and have my yarn. And it takes a little bit of practice, so don't get discouraged. Um, it took me quite a few times to figure it out too. Um, so on this row, uh, but you'll get it. This is why we're doing this video. So in this row, um, you can see that the working yarn is on the top. So then as I work back through the work this way, I'm going to want to make sure that this yarn goes underneath and I feed it through like that. And again, that heddle just pushes up the right yarns essentially that you're working, um, your vertical yarns. And I pull that once I know that I can see that I'm all set there, I just pull it right through and then I'm off to the races. And that's it. And as you continue to work through your project and say you want to change colors, all you need to do is just cut the yarn about here and then you can actually just tie in your yarn. That's the easiest and quickest way to uh, change out your yarn for a project like this. And you can, um, and then you just start and work with your other yarn. You just take off the working yarn here and you can change it with any of the colors that come in your kit. Um, and you can play around with that. There's a lot of really neat techniques out there. You can follow some cool artists on Instagram. If you have any questions, reach out to us at darngoodyarn.com. I hope you have a great day.